police. You're safe now. You're not alone. So let's go back to work. Chicago PD. New episode January 4th on NBC. Amanda Rollins. Pleasure. You haven't talked to Olivia yet, have you? I'm leaving. This for you. Thank you all for coming. You gonna start crying already, Liv? Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Michelle Pfeiffer, NBC Tonight. On our broadcast tonight, bringing fish to the classroom, we'll learn about a school's mini hatchery. Plus, a survey about mental health in Wisconsin teens. We'll see why there are call calls for drastic action. And a chilly day didn't stop folks in Anigo from enjoying chili. Your local news starts right now. News Watch 12 with Dan Hagen, Jessica Jukic, and Conrad Sapinski. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 10. I'm Dan Hagen. And I'm Jessica Jukic. A new project in Eagle River is bringing the real world into the classroom. Students of the elementary school have taken up a new hobby caring for fish. Thanks to the help of the DNR, their project is now two months in the making. News Watch 12's Matt Weaver checked out their science experiment and has more. Exactly what we do at the hatchery is just a much larger scale. A bump nose, spin, spin day, day, night, and baby big, big mama. It's really cool that we at this age can learn about fish and walleye. The fourth grade teachers of Eagle River Elementary wanted a real world application for conservation. We talk about how the walleye numbers have been decreasing and why it's important that we are learning about the walleye, how we can take care of them, and how can they take that back into the real world. World. So they enlisted the help of the DNR to install a mini hatchery in the school. Every fish counts, so if we can contribute to that in any way, that's fantastic. Fish culture technician Tom Lorenzen got them started, showing them what it takes to raise fish. Well, that is a real fickle. Um, they you know, require a very specific water quality parameters. You know, if something gets out of whack, you know, they're going to go belly up pretty quick. It wasn't long before these students took charge. Every morning they come down and they're so engaged in taking care of the walleye that I never have to remind them to do it. They they do it all on their own and they're very independent. But there's more to it than just feeding the five fish. Me and Leia kind of put our arms in the tank, get the minnows on the bottom, and then these two help out with the pH. I do the nitrate. Mm -hmm. The ammonia levels and... Look at you guys, you sound like scientists. <laughs> what started as a simple experiment has now developed a new generation of environmentalists. We want them to be aware for the future. So to be able to start that in them and watch the joy of them taking care, it's neat to see that. And I can't wait to see what they'll do in their future with this project. In Eagle River, Matt Weaver, News Watch 12. It's so cold out there. I was out there for like two minutes and my hands were freezing. Yeah, it's so cold outside, especially with a little bit of wind. It's feeling like extra, extra cold, folks. But what it doesn't you, make it, you know, any less beautiful to watch the snowfall, which happened today. Yes, it looks like a winter wonderland outside, but definitely uh, bundle up and layer up, folks. Put on a hat, some gloves, as temperatures earlier today were below average, but right now they're much, much colder. 28 degrees was the high temperature earlier today here in town. In Rhinelander, same thing in Eagle River. Lando Lakes came in at 28 and ago, same thing. And then just north and west, temperatures were only in those mid-teens as high temperatures. Our average high should be around 30 degrees with an average low of around 14. Look at 1936, 23 degrees below zero. That is frigid. Not that cold right now, but still around 23 degrees colder than what we're supposed to be. And 20, uh, around 20 to 30 degrees colder than what we were this time yesterday. Our actual temperature right now hovering around 13 degrees. Look at Tomahawk, though. Six degrees, so those cold, cold temperatures pretty much knocking on our door. And it's going to continue to cool off. Not much going on. The snow pretty much tapered off. Still a couple of flurries, but overall, decreasing clouds will continue overnight. Kind of like these temperatures decreasing and cooling off, hovering in those mid-single digits. Dan? A new investigation shows that a state Supreme Court candidate allowed a suspect two days to go to jail and during that time violently attacked people. Michael Liu was supposed to report to jail by December 2nd to serve time for a domestic violent incident that took place over the summer. Waukesha Judge Jennifer Doe Rose sentenced Liu on November 30th and allowed him two days to report. 
Authorities say during those two days, Lou traveled from Wisconsin to Illinois to exact revenge on his soon-to-be ex-wife's parents. On December 1st, Lou broke into the home and stabbed his in-laws. Doro rose to fame because of her case with the Waukesha Parade Killer. She announced her run for state Supreme Court last week. The Wisconsin company accused of hiring children to clean at meatpacking plants is being ordered to comply with labor laws. A federal judge ordered Packers Sanitation Services to follow labor laws after investigators identified at least 50 minors sanitizing dangerous equipment on overnight shifts at five different meatpacking plants. Investigators with the Labor Department found workers as young as 13. The company is one of the largest that cleans food processing plants and employs around 17,000 people working at more than 700 locations nationwide. Wisconsin is opening its next round of high-speed internet grants. The broadband expansion grant program is offering $14.1 million in grants. Starting today, organizations, cities, villages, towns, and counties can apply for that funding. Since 2019, the program has connected more than 387,000 homes and businesses with high-speed broadband internet. More information on the grant program can be found at pscwi.gov. The application period runs through February 22, 2023. Aspirus Health is offering a free flu shot clinic in Rhinelander. Next week, they will be at the YMC of the Northwoods offering 50 free flu shots. The flu shot is available for people ages 18 to 64. The clinic will be held on Thursday, December 15th from 8 a.m. to noon at the YMCA of the Northwoods. More than half of Wisconsin high school seniors reported having significant problems with feeling very anxious, nervous, or scared. That's according to a new health risk survey. The results are the first picture of Wisconsin students' mental health since the onset of the pandemic. The results were publicized by the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, which called for drastic action. The Youth Risk Behavior Study goes out every two years to sample of schools across the country that were selected to inform county, state, and national reports, including 43 Wisconsin high schools. The national results have not yet been shared for 2021. The Wisconsin DNR is encouraging the public to recycle and reduce waste this holiday season. Many items can be recycled anywhere in Wisconsin, including cardboard and newspaper, wrapping paper that can be torn and doesn't have any glitter, foil, or adornments on it, can be recycled in the majority of programs in Wisconsin. And for aluminum cans, don't crush them or flatten them. That actually makes it harder for recycling facilities to properly sort them. There are plenty of items that shouldn't be recycled, like plastic bags, tissue paper, holiday light strings, and electronics. The 25th annual Chili Cook-Off took place in Anago today with more than 40 com competitors coming out to the Winter Classic. This can only mean one thing, time to get out the slow cookers for a great time downtown. Jody Baginski is an annual competitor who has won the best chili award in the past. She says that her day is typically busy serving up hundreds of cups by the end of the competition. We do two 20-quart Nesco's of chili and we probably give away 500 cups of chili. The competitors are a mixture of businesses and individual chili makers who wind Fifth Avenue starting at 8 a.m. Chamber Director Dina Grabowski says the annual event helps bring locals out to the Christmas parade, which began at 6.30. A little chilly today in the air, but that's all right, because that just keeps everyone bundled up and gets in the, the Christmas spirit. There are two brackets, one for spicy and one for traditional chili. Members of the public were invited to taste each chili with the panel of judges critiquing each on aroma, taste, consistency, and texture. We're learning new details in the investigation into classified documents that were found at Mar-a-Lago. And a community is giving back to families in need. We'll have the details after weather right here on Newswatch 12. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Stone Innovations, Ryan Lander and Plover. Let's go Christmas shopping at Mel's. Find trusted outdoor brands for this season's activities. Get outside and spend time doing the sports you love. Cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, or ice fishing. Or enjoy casual sport clothing for all occasions. Mel's Trading Post to downtown Rhinelander Landmark. Stone Innovations, home of Wisconsin's largest granite and quartz selection, is now featuring the best stones shopping experience in the state. Our brand new indoor facility allows for a home-like, comfortable atmosphere. 
Choose from hand-picked stone from around the world and select the perfect look for your dream kitchen in the best lighting possible. Then sit down with our free design services to customize the look of your kitchen. Our projects come with a lifetime warranty. Stone Innovations, Wisconsin's granite and quartz leader. Appleton, Rhinelander, Clover, Madison. Get all of your projects done with help from Menards. Mastercraft interior doors offer the best quality for the best prices. With our wide range of styles and options, you'll be sure to find something to fit your taste. Choose from our in-stock doors or design your door your way. With our door designer, Mastercraft has the fastest delivery. So you get your door in approximately seven days. Say big on Mastercraft doors at Menards. Bassett Jewelers and Engraving in downtown Manaqua is a full-service traditional jewelry store offering a wide range of jewelry and gift items to fit any budget. Find jewelry from classic diamonds to beautiful colored gems and pearls. Engagement rings and wedding bands for every style. Gift selections include jewelry travel cases, glassware, picture frames, and an extensive line of baby gifts. In-store jewelry repairs and engraving to personalize your gifts. Come visit us at Bassett Jewelers and Engraving in downtown Manaqua. Let's go Christmas shopping at Mel's. Find trusted outdoor brands for this season's activities. Get outside and spend time doing the sports you love. Cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, or ice fishing. Or enjoy casual sport clothing for all occasions. Mel's Trading Post to downtown Rhinelander Landmark. It's Wednesday and another snowy day outside, but only for around three and a half hours and then quickly moving away. Clouds decreasing, sun peaked out, and then now we're back to decreasing clouds. So mostly cloudy skies, a couple of flurries lingering in the area, but it is so cold and so dry that all of that is very fluffy outside. For the most part, we are clear. There's still a little bit of snow lingering in the UP closer to Marquette. Of course, that wind is starting to shift and bringing just a little bit of lake effect snow. For us, though, we're in the clear, and most of the upper Midwest is in the clear as well. Besides down south, closer to St. Louis and south of that, a couple of showers. Same thing in the northeast, but overall in the west, we're looking clear. A couple of flurries by Denver, but no big low-pressure systems on the way just yet, though. We do have some snow cover on the ground right now, around an inch of snow here in town. And just north and west, a lot more snow. Wherever those darker blue colors are, Places have around five, six, maybe more inches of snow, especially the closer to the UP you go and closer to Ashland. But like I said, more snow is on the way. So on Friday, there's going to be a low. That's going to stay south of us, mainly south of Wausau area, where some places will get a couple inches of snow. Then on Saturday, more snow starts to arrive. We're thinking maybe an inch of snow here in the Northwoods. And then Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday, this gets very interesting. There's going to be another low pressure system moving in looks like a pretty decent one now is it going to snow is it going to rain is it going to be a mix right now it does look like it's going to be a little bit of a mix on tuesday but models are leaning more towards it being mostly snow so that's going to end up piling up after a couple of days of snowing we'll keep an eye on that but temperatures are definitely cooling down Right now, all these purple and pink colors from Canada, that's going to continue pushing south. And as it does, it brings in a lot of cold air. Even these places in the yellows right now in Georgia, same thing in Florida, of course. They're hanging out with some 70s, some nice beach weather 80s. But all of that's going to change. That cold air is going to continue to go south. And as it does, we will all cool off, not only here in the Northwoods, but it is very cold here. The temperatures are in the teens right now, still some single digits in the area. But overall, we're going to continue to cool off right now. And winds, not a big issue at the moment. But look what happens by Friday. So temperatures will be hovering near our average on Friday, but it will be a little bit more on the breezy end. So that's going to create, of course, a feels like temperature well colder than that. Tonight, though, temperatures will get cold. Mid single digits, partly cloudy skies and a calm wind. And that's going to really help those temperatures cool off and settle in the area here. But our seven day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show that snow on Friday south of us on Saturday here in the Northwoods. And then by Tuesday into Wednesday, more chances of snow and rain. Dan and Jessica. Thank you, Conrad. The Biden administration wants more Americans to get their COVID-19 booster shots. It's launching a six-week campaign to encourage people to do so. 
The campaign will target seniors and communities that were the hardest hit by the disease. So far, more than 35 million Americans have gotten their updated shots, but that number is very low considering 265 million got their initial COVID-19 vaccine. The administration is hoping to put a dent in the, into that number, tapping Dr. Anthony Fauci, the president's chief medical advisor, to kick off the campaign during Tuesday's White House briefing. More documents marked classified have been found by former President Trump's attorneys. The two documents were recently found in a storage facility not far from Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Two people familiar with the documents tell NBC News that those documents were turned over to the FBI. The find comes almost four months after FBI agents executed a search warrant at Trump's Florida residence, finding over 100 documents with classification markings, including some that were marked top secret. A far-right extremist plot to overthrow the German government was stopped today. Officials arrested 22 suspected members and three suspected supporters of the terrorist organization behind the plot. In a statement, the German Federal Prosecutor's Office said roughly 50 people were suspected to have been part of that group called Reich Citizens Movement. According to the statement, the group's members subscribed to various conspiracy theories, including those peddled by QAnon. An Indian community and a casino are partnering to help those in need in the western UP. The Lakview Desire Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians and the Northern Waters Casino in Watersmeet, Michigan, are working together to collect non-perishable goods for local food pantries. The casino's employees turned the drive into a friendly competition. Employees have challenged each other to see who can collect the most food. I think it's fun. Um, we've already had quite a bit donated. Every little bit helps, even if it can just be one one can or one box of cereal or whatever it may be. That one box will make a difference in somebody's life. The public can also donate to the food drive. If you want to contribute to the drive, you can drop off your non-perishable goods at the casino until January 18th. The Hodag was voted the best high school mascot in America in November. Coming up, Newswatch 12's Saul Meyer will give us a glimpse into the celebration the school district held at the Dome today. is held over so there's still time to get black friday deals during our huge thanksgiving sale held over at slumberland furniture incredible prices plus get 30 percent off on top of that store-wide at slumberland ready dad all charged up this holiday season ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select ford vehicles choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order lock in your rate and you're protected even if rates go up before your order comes in so much and that's how Ford is helping you, I'm proud of you kid. shine bright. <laughs> now, get an F-150 with 2.9% financing for 60 months and 500 retail bonus cash plus 500 accessories cash. Protecting the people and businesses in our community is our highest priority. Our combined 126 years of history connects you to some of the best carriers in the business, like Auto Owners Insurance. Together, Clinner and Meyer Insurance bring even more expertise and more ways to protect you, all with the same unwavering support and a single commitment, protecting what matters most in your world. Together, we are Clinner Insurance. Your world protected. Menke Automotive is your new neighbor in central Wisconsin, so now you've got a friend in the auto business. Menke Automotive prides ourselves on having happy employees because happy employees make for happy customers. When you need a new Buick, GMC, or Mazda, expert service, precision body work, or just a hot cup of coffee, come in and get to know us at Menke Automotive at the old Fred Miller location on Grand Avenue in Schofield. Menke Automotive, your new neighbors in central Wisconsin. Look at the mattresses. <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. 
Right now, get 30% off select mattresses. Like this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland. Mattress shopping reinvented. Coming up on your Thursday, learn about some upcoming events at the Rhinelander Public Library. Lots of sunshine as we had on your Thursday, but there is more snow in the forecast. When will that move in? More when you tune in on your Thursday from 5 to 7 a.m. It's Hodag Day here in Rhinelander as locals poured into the Hodag Dome to celebrate Rhinelander High School's mascot being named the best mascot in America for high school. The Hodag won the event back in November 1st after securing over 180,000 votes, more than doubling the second place finisher Shelly Rustitz, which only received about 70,000 votes. The event featured lawn games like cornhole and giant Jenga, inflatable bounce houses and an obstacle course, a t-shirt, an appearance from the Hodag mascots, a Hodag themed cookie, a face painting booth, and so much more. Some local kids were excited to celebrate such an honor for not only the high school, but the town as well. I think that the Hodag Dome might be the best dome there is. Yes. yes. It's the one, number one mascot. The event went from four to seven where hundreds of people showed their support for the school's mascot. Lakeland Union girls basketball star Juliana Wimet has already made headlines this season for her phenomenal play. But the D1 commit isn't done there and is about to submit her, her legacy as one of the T-Bird goats as she inches near the school's all-time points list. Wimet has scored 1,975 points in her career, which is just 40 shy of the school's all-time record that has been held by Katie Voigt since 1993. Juliana has a chance to break that record this week with the T-Birds playing at Mosinee tomorrow and then hosting Ladysmith on Friday. She's averaging 21 points per game this season, so she would be on pace to break it this Friday at home. Moving on from one impressive accolade in girls hoops to another, junior guard Bella Milan became the 14th player in Florence basketball history to score 1,000 career points. She achieved that feat last night when the Bobcats took down Tomahawks 66-36. Milan finished that game with a team-high 31 points, bringing her average up to 22.2 points per game for this season. The Bobcats will be back in action tomorrow when they host Goodman Pembine. The Milwaukee Bucks are back on a winning streak following their 133-129 loss to the Lakers last Friday. They were back in action tonight when they took on the historically bad but currently good Sacramento Kings at home. Let's see if the Bucks can make it three in a row and defend home court. And the Kings are no slouch either. They're on a three-game winning streak where they've averaged over 123 points per game in those wins. Here in the first, the Kings started out hot. An 8-0 run that started with this Darren Fox catch and shoot three right here for the first points of the game. But the Bucks made a comeback, and they did it with huge plays like this. Does it count as an alley-oop if the player doesn't even jump for the dunk? Here in the second, Giannis isn't the only one they can throw alley-oops to. Remember when you're driving to throw it up to 34-year-old Brooke Lopez because age is just a number for the Californian. This game was all offense. Here in the fourth quarter, Pat Connaughton misses his corner three shot, but a great effort from Grayson Allen on the rebound, and Chris Middleton is able to finish this thing off with the step back three as the Bucks go on to win it 123-113. The Green Bay Packers were on a bye this week after their fourth quarter comeback win over the Chicago Bears this past Sunday in the Windy City. This is the la latest bye week possible for teams, so the Packers are looking to take advantage of the rest to take a last-minute push for the playoffs. And with a 5-8 and eight record, the Packers still have a chance to make the playoffs just a few games back of that final wild card spot held by the Seahawks. They have a chance to start a winning streak in 12 days when they host the L.A. Rams in some Monday night football action. New Wisconsin head football coach Luke Fickle has announced the hire of Phil Longo to be the team's offensive coordinator. Longo comes from the University of North Carolina, where he was the team's offensive coordinator before taking the same job at Wisconsin. He was the offensive play caller for the Tar Heels and has helped with the production of quarterback Sam Howell and Drake May during his time there. We'll be right back after the break.
If you already know that a blend of tender, marbled Wagyu beef makes the best burger, good for you. Arby's Wagyu Steakhouse Burger is back. You beef genius? Arby's, we have the meat. There's only one place to turn for your local and high school sports highlights, analysis, and more. Friday Night Blitz on News Watch 12, Fridays at 10 p.m. Brought to you by Trackside Sales and Service and Menke Buick GMC Mazda. Hey friends, Bella Friday here, and I'm joined by Brian Gottlieb, and today we're talking about bath and shower remodeling. Now, Brian, let's just dive right into it. What are some of the most common mistakes that homeowners make when remodeling? I think the first thing is people wait too long. You know, I often hear, we wish we would have done it sooner. But I think the probably the single most common mistake is, I'm going to use an analogy here. Uh, we've got a bunch of kids, when our kids were younger, and they'd have friends coming over uh, for a pizza party. We'd have pizza everywhere, and we would get a bunch of paper plates because we didn't want to do dishes, and the plates would go right in the trash. So we would shop for the cheapest paper plate we could find because we know we're going to throw it away. When choosing a home improvement project, you're not throwing it away. You don't want something cheap. You want something that's going to last a lifetime. Your home is probably your single biggest investment. So you really want to focus on, not on price, but on real value. And, and, and if you do that, you'll have a lovely remodeling experience. Man, this is beyond my expectations. This is just, this is so worth the money. I can't remember how many times the installer said, if you find something that we didn't do right, you call and we'll come in and fix it. And in your opinion, what makes a happy customer? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think I think customers, I think we're all the same, right? When we get a price, we want to know that's the price. We don't want it moving. If we get a price, okay, that's what it's going to be. We want to be well communicated with. We want to know what's going on along the process. And I think lastly, we want to work with a company that if they say they're going to do it, they're going to do that. If they say when they're going to do it, they're going to do that. I think that's just common sense. But at the end of the day, that's what makes a happy customer. Thanks for visiting today, Brian. And check out these outstanding savings. Save big during our winter savings event. Call now and get 75% off installation plus a free upgrade to stylish black fixtures and make no payments for one full year. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit us at tundraland.com. Some snowmobile trails will open Friday morning in northern Wisconsin. Those trails will be in northern Iron County and they'll open at 7 a.m. on Friday. White Thunder Riders maintains those trails. They report early season conditions to be expected with water holes and a thin base. Winter ATV and UTV trails will open as well. Trails in the Mercer area were, are not going to be open. Go to the White Thunder Riders Facebook page or website to see which trails will open. A Florence County home is already in the Christmas spirit. A holiday light show is open for anyone to see. It's tucked right off of US 2 in a colorful Christmas display. This is the third year Jennifer Jokey and her husband have showed off their holiday spirit in Florence County. When we bought the place, we actually had never seen it before. We just saw that it was on the highway and thought that would be good so people could see it. <laughs> so we light the lights and you know, we don't have any kids at home anymore and you know, so the whole presence and things doesn't happen. So this is something that we can do that's still festive. The house is located at 5003 US 2. It's the last home before reaching the Brule River Bridge coming into Michigan. The light show is open every day free of charge from 4.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Today marks the 81st anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. A remembrance ceremony was held at the National Pearl Harbor Memorial in Hawaii to honor those who died on that fateful day in 1941 when hundreds of Japanese bombers attacked the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard. 21 ships of the Pacific Fleet were sunk or damaged. Among those ships, the USS Arizona, which lost more than 1,100 crewmen. More than 2,400 Americans were killed in the attack, and some 1,100 more were wounded. The attack drew the United States into World War II. The theme of today's ceremony was Everlasting Legacy. I challenge you to carry the Pearl Harbor legacy forward, sharing the stories of valor and sacrifice with your friends. President Franklin D. Roosevelt gave a speech to Congress the following day, famously calling the day of the attack a date which will live in infamy. Shortly thereafter, Congress passed a declaration of war against Japan, marking the official beginning of America's role in World War II.
Farming today doesn't always feel the same way it used to. Then again, some of it feels all the same. Maybe it isn't so much the jobs that changed, but how they get done. Now that's a different story. Efficiencies are critical, which is why you need a lender who will find the right loan structure for a strong financial future. You need a lender to look out for your whole farm operation. Ag Country. Nobody has more used trucks all on one lot, all priced to move. So when you're ready to buy your next truck, know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, and can be bought hassle-free online. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. We got the trucks at Lens Truck. Care, it's baked into everything we do, like Perkins Bacon Fest, made with care and lots of bacon, starting at just $8.99. Enjoy all our delicious favorites, and don't forget a fresh-baked pie from Perkins Holiday Bake Shop. Order online at PerkinsToGo.com. At Batteries Plus, we do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. Visit Batteries Plus for free auto battery testing and installation. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. Oh, my gosh. In today's economy, it seems the value of a dollar continues to shrink, while the services offered are getting less and less. Here at Maher Water Corporation, a new high-efficiency system made by WaterCare can help ease the stress on your checkbook. We are always available to analyze and recommend one of these units. So while we can't actually make your money grow, we can make the value of what you get from Maher seem like it. Need a new boat or outboard? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with Honda Marine and American Marine and Motorsports. Because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speed boats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we could help get you top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Honda Marine and American Marine and Motorsports. Shawno. Alrighty, the Rhinelander Ice Arena was full of young skaters today thanks to a donation of rental skates. All K through 8 students from Nativity School were on the ice now. I know Jessica and Conrad, you guys skate. Saul from Texas, I, I don't know about you. One time. One time I've been okay. ice skating. I, not for me. Not for me. <laughs> hey, better one time than no times, you yeah. know, but... Taking a look outside, I mean, this is that type of ice skating weather, so, you know, it's cold outside. More snow is on the way, especially into Saturday and then a bigger storm Tuesday, Wednesday, and then into Thursday. Temperatures pretty much near the freezing mark. You have to embrace winter, Saul, when you're up here. I guess. You gotta get your ice skating in gear. <laughs> That's all the time we have. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Toyota-thon is on. Now's the time to get an exciting new Toyota. Like Camry Hybrid, RAV4, Tundra, and more. Uh, how did you... Magic. Right now, during Toyota-thon, get 3.49% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, Camry, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Come in today. Toyota. Let's go places. It's easy to say things. Anyone can do that. A little closer. Meaning what you say, that's a little harder. And a little harder to find. But at U.S. Cellular, when we say you get unlimited data for $29.99 per line, we don't mean only if you get four lines. We mean $29.99 per line, even one. Plus, every plan is price protected for every customer. Ready, Dad? All charged up. This holiday season, Ford wants to help you shine bright with a special offer on select Ford vehicles. Choose a vehicle in stock or simply place a custom order. Lock in your rate and you're protected, even if rates go up before your order comes in. So much. And that's how Ford is helping you, I'm proud of you kid, shine bright. <laughs> this season, choose Flex Buy on a 2022 Escape or Edge SUV and get 0% financing for 66 months at your local Ford dealer and shine bright. It's a red carpet affair this New Year's Eve. 
at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Dressed to impress. There will be party favors, complimentary food from the Mint, a free photo booth, and live music from Video Star. Plus, hot seat drawings, barrel drawings for $1,000 cash. Then at midnight, a grand prize drawing for a Ford Explorer and $2,000 cash. Plus, another cash giveaway at 1 a.m. Earn entries throughout December to win big on New Year's Eve. 